Good uh, morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Uh, the devotions that I'll be sharing will be aired in the morning, in the afternoon, and also in the evening. Anyway, beginning today, September 21, 2020, I will be sharing a devotion in correlation with the return. The devotion will focus on repentance, or in other words, returning to God. Today will be an introduction. Beginning today, from September 21 to September 26, we will be looking at Psalms chapter 51 as we make our return to God. Somehow, some way, we all have fallen short of the glory of God in our walk and in our relationship with God. My prayer for me and for you is that during this week of the return, that we will look seriously into our lives and make a full return to God. Yes, it's true that we all failed God and somewhere down the line, we have strayed away from God. Let's go ahead and read Psalms chapter 51. O loving and kind God, have mercy. Have pity upon me and take away the awful stain of my transgressions. O wash me, cleanse me from this guilt. Let me be pure again, for I admit my shameful deed. It haunts me day and night. It is against you and you alone I sinned and did this terrible thing. You saw it all and your sentence against me is just. But I was born a sinner. Yes, from the moment my mother conceived me. You deserve honesty from my heart. Yes, utter sincerity and truthfulness. Oh, give me this wisdom. Sprinkle me with the cleansing blood and I shall be clean again. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. And after you have punished me, give me back my joy again. Don't keep looking at my sins. Erase them from your sight. Create in me a new clean heart, O God, filled with clean thoughts and right desires. Don't toss me aside. Banish forever from your presence. Don't take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me again the joy of your salvation and make me willing to obey you. Then I will teach you your ways to other sinners, and they, guilty like me, will repent and return to you. Don't sentence me to death, O oh my God. You alone can rescue me. Then I will sing of your forgiveness, for my lips will be unsealed. Oh, I will, I will praise you. You don't want penance. If you did, how gladly I would do it. You aren't interested in offerings burnt before you on the altar. It is a broken spirit you want, remorse and penitence. A broken and a contrite heart, O oh God, you will not ignore. And Lord, don't punish Israel for my sins. Help your people and protect Jerusalem. And when my heart is right, then you will rejoice in the good that I do and in the bullocks I bring to sacrifice upon your altar. To begin with, I want to define the word repentance, to define what it is, and what it is not. In general, repentance is defined as turning around, making a 180 degree turn from living in sin to living righteously. But repentance doesn't begin by turning away from your sin. Repentance doesn't begin by trying to obey God. Repentance begins by turning to God by turning our hearts toward God. Because before you can turn away from sin, you must first turn toward God. What God is looking for is a broken spirit and a repentant heart, according to Psalms chapter 51 and verse 7. So don't begin your return to God by trying to obey God because you will fail. Begin your return to God with a broken, and a repentant heart. In closing, God wants you to know that He is patiently waiting for you to return to Him with a broken and repentant heart. So remember today, 
begin this devotion with a repentant heart, a broken spirit. Don't try to turn your life around by turning away from sin in the beginning. Don't try to turn your life around by trying to obey Him. It begins with a contrite heart, a broken heart, and a repentant heart. Tomorrow, we will look at the compassion, the mercy, and the forgiveness of God. Remember this, there is not a person in this world that God does not offer His compassion to, and there's not a sin in this world that God cannot forgive. God bless you both.